Thank you, Emily. Conservative groups are expecting more pushback against Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions' nomination to be U.S. Attorney General. The NAACP held protests across the state at Sessions' offices yesterday. Some protesters were even arrested. But Sessions supporters argue the protests are all a show, as Sessions may be a lock as AG. News 5's Chad Petrie has the story. Wednesday morning, it was all quiet in front of Jeff Sessions' mobile office door. Not a staffer or a protester in sight. Tuesday evening, a small group camped out in front to protest Sessions' nomination as AG, saying he has the wrong record on voting and civil rights. Six were ultimately arrested for trespassing, including the national president, Cornell William Brooks. As to whether or not he is qualified to hold this job because he's willing to enforce all the laws on behalf of all the people. And based on that, he is not. The conservative dark money group, the Judicial Crisis Network, bought ad time for this pro-sessions ad in D.C. during the holidays. We spoke to policy director Kerry Severino via FaceTime. So there, there are a lot of people who just want to score some points against Trump, against his nominees, and that, that's what we're seeing them doing. It's just unfortunate that they're tarring the reputation of a fine uh, public servant like Jeff Sessions in the process. Severino says allegations Sessions is either unfair or bigoted were disproven 30 years ago. It's really laughable and it's sad that there are people who are trying to, uh, to drum up a, a, a claim of racism. This is someone who campaigned against... A, Democrat George Wallace, the segregationist. Members of conservative groups argue protests like we saw Tuesday are really just to rally the Democratic base and will have little effect when Sessions goes to Capitol Hill for confirmation hearings next week. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5. Well, Ronald Reagan nominated Sessions for a federal judgeship 30 years ago. Senators voted against his nomination after claims the session made racist statements. Conservative conservatives argue Jeff Sessions was unfairly targeted by Democrats who didn't want Sessions on the bench. Coming up tonight on the CBS Evening News, David Begno is in the port city and he will have a special report on the protests of Senator Sessions.